Hello, this video is a brief introduction on Fluent Machine User Interface. In this video, you will see how to select entities, how to measure distance between nodes, how to control zone visibility, and you will see display options and clipping planes. Okay, so let's start by entity selection. To select an entity, first you need to select the selection filter. To select a node, select the node selection filter from the toolbar and use the right mouse button to select the nodes. To add to the selection, you don't need to hold down the control key button. To deselect, you can use the deselect last to deselect the last selection or you can use the clear selection to select everything that is selected. To select an edge, use edge selection filter. To select a face, use zone selection filter. And to select a zone, use zone selection filter. Finally, to select an object, use option selection filter. If you want to measure the distance between two nodes, use the node selection filter, select a node here, for, for example, and the other one here, and then from the ribbon and examine, use distance. This gives you a number here. If it's a small and you cannot read it, you can also read it from the console, distance equal to 5. To control the visibility of the zones, select the zone selection filter, select a zone, and then use the eyelet to hide the zone. If you want to isolate a zone, use this eye icon to isolate that zone. To show back everything, use this icon. You can use the transparency from display in the ribbon to make the faces transparent. So to use that, first select the zones that you want to make transparent and then use the transparency option. For making all the zones transparent, don't select any node. Just select the transparency and it automatically transparent all the zones. Okay, so now let's take a look at clipping plane. To apply a clipping plane, use this option here, insert clipping plane, and then you can use the sliding bar to move the location of the clipping plane. You can also limit the clipping plane plane at X, Y, or Z axis. If you have a volumetric mesh, you can use the option Draw Cell Layer to display the interior cells. The last thing that I want to show you is how to use bounds in the ribbon to limit your selection. So let's say I want to create a cut plane that passes through uh, somewhere close to this node here. So for that, I can use a position selection filter or node selection filter to select the position here. So notice after I select this position, there is a number appears here. Basically, this is the uh, location that I have selected. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, select a node. So if I select a node, you see that the number of this node appears here. Okay, so depending on how I want to uh, limit the selection, I can use X range, Y range, or Z range. So let's say I want to uh, have a cut plane perpendicular to X axis, so I use X range. Okay, and then uh, come to the uh, tree here from the mesh objects. You can right click on your object, mesh object, and draw. Okay, 
and as you can see, a cut plane that passes through that node is created uh, perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, so I hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.